what's up guys this is los and anthony with the malco cast thank you guys for joining us it's been a while and that's because of the holidays man the holidays have really been busy for both myself and anthony anthony were you a good boy this year I'm a good boy every year, man. What's that? That's a that's a dumb question. <laughs> I'm always good, man. Always. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I was a good boy too. I got some socks, and uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I got socks from my kids that um, they've known me for a while, and they see the kind of socks I wear. Yeah. They bought me some socks that I would never wear in my right goddamn life. Okay. <laughs> A little upset about that. <laughs> hey, just kidding. But your feet are happy, so that's all that matters. With the I socks. don't know about if they're happy in them socks. <laughs> today, I'm just kidding. hey, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, today we're going to be reacting to a cover that Metallica recently did uh, at a December 16th show. It's a cover of a Thin Lizzy song. I think it's called Borderline. And uh, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and see what this is about. Yeah, let's shake it up. Sounds like Mountain Ten or Broken Speakers. <laughs> Sounds like Anthony Diego right there. I'm not used to the acoustic stuff.
borderline borderline certainly not madonna's borderline um let's switch our view here oops how do i switch the view there you go well borderline a little slow for me a little slow oh man i don't know how to feel about this um, um confusing i want to know what kind of event they were playing what kind of was event? it an event where maybe all of their own songs wasn't acceptable you know like, <laughs> like maybe they're trying to like was, uh, was metallica's own shit a little too aggressive or uh, <laughs> all i hear like i hella hurt Axl Rose is somewhere backstage singing backups on that shit because I, I swear I heard him singing on it was the harmony between Hetfield and Trujillo maybe or the other guy they had playing guitar in the background uh, there's a weird well weird octave in there where it sounded like Axl <laughs> it did yeah I noticed that too now um, they were doing this cover. It's a Thin, Liz Thin Lizzy's cover of Borderline. Uh, they were playing a show, an All Within My Hands concert. And okay. It, it's basically an auction show, and they did this cover there. And so, um, you know, this this cover is getting a lot of praise, man. People are really digging it, and they're saying that James Hetfield needs to do an acoustic album. Um, now, I have never uh, considered James Hetfield as a great singer so to speak i mean he's good and he fits well with that band but as far as him but I you've never heard him you can't say somebody's a great singer or not a great singer if you've never heard him sing outside of his comfort zone right you know um he may you know he may be an amazing singer that we just don't know about but he has to fit into a certain image style uh you know genre to feed, feed his family, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, um, this is what I think that was, though. This was outside of his comfort zone in a sense that he he usually doesn't sing like that. You know what sucks about this, though, dude? Is, is I don't really know the original song, so I don't know what comparisons to draw. I don't know how close this is to the original, how, how far away. Like, did Metallica totally take this and make it their own? You know, like, uh, so th that's something I don't know because I don't, I don't know this song. I don't know Thin Lizzy too, too much. Um, yeah. I'm not, I, to I'm me, not. though, I'll be honest with you. This, this feels like a song that <laughs> Metallica should have put out in the the grunge era. <laughs> like <laughs> the grunge era, because that's what that's totally what it reminds me of. Something from the grunge era, dude. Like where I, I, I felt like I was listening to. Uh, like Alice in Chains. The 90s all over again. Like Alice in Chains almost? No, not Alice in Chains, but just uh, that era. That, that, not Alice in Chains. Uh, nothing about that reminded me of Alice in Chains, but uh, it just reminded me of an era. Like an MTV an Unplugged? <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Like it should have, I feel like Metallica should have done this as like they're unplugged, you know? Like, uh, mm -hmm. When those were still a thing, like, have they ever done it in play? I don't think they have. Uh, but that's just the, kind of the the feel I got from it. I was like, ah, oh, you kind of guys missed your mark with the timing of this, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I agree with you. It, um, and I, I'll be honest with you, too, man. I, I don't know this song either. Thin Lizzy is not a band that I've been, ever been into. and you know, The boys are back, to ta back in town. That's Thin Lizzy. The boys are back in town. The boys oh, are back oh, in that's town. Them? Okay. Yeah. I've heard that song. Uh, so, yeah. like uh, I know Metallica's always been big fans of Thin Lizzy, the, the new wave of British heavy metal. They're one of the bands from that era. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, I mean, is this a song that you would roll again, that you would bump in your car and say, hey, check this out? Probably not. No. Like, this isn't going to be a go-to Metallica song that I would probably ever show anybody ever again. Or, like, I, 
Like, like I said, though, I'm, I don't know the song, so I'm not overly impressed by it because maybe they did an amazing job of it. I think that they did make it because I could hear James Hetfield's, uh, you know, the way he, like, he sings sometimes. He'll go, whoa, yeah, like, you know, that kind of thing. He'll add his little... Yeah, but he's always going to find those accent points in anything he does, dude. Like, it don't matter. Yeah. It's just like uh, Zach Wilde throwing his pitch harmonics in uh pantera songs you know he's always gonna find his way to make his, his signature his own, yeah. it don't matter you know like yeah. even if he's even if Hetfield was doing it to a t he's gonna find those accent points. points what did you think of the solo in the song i i really enjoyed the solo i thought it was pretty cool oh the musician yeah the solo's cool i mean him it's always not always i've seen some really bad videos of him <laughs> but <laughs> like um yeah, the musicianship was great, man. Like, uh, yeah, it was. Um, I don't know. I wasn't blown away by it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't hate it, but I, I also didn't it, like it. I don't it. love it either. Yeah, you know? yeah, I'm, 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 I'm right there with you. We're on the same page <laughs> when it yeah. comes to that. So. So yeah, I mean, uh, and, but but who cares what we think, right? We want to know what you well, guys you know, think. Like, you know, like, because I think of I think of like cover songs that, you know, like bands did acoustically. Like I think of uh, uh, when Nirvana did the David Bowie song, "The Man Who Sold the World." Like Nirvana gave it, it like people think of that. So uh, there's people out there that think of that as being a Nirvana song, you know, like yeah. Um, well, the the. <laughs> Well, people think of this as being a Metallica song. No, never. I don't think so. So uh, it doesn't sound like Metallica uh, to me. I mean, I don't know. Acoustic is metal bands all doing acoustic stuff has always been a little bit iffy to me because the metal is supposed to be the loud sounds and the crunching guitars, not the grandfather guitars, you know, and like the distortion and the. the but the, Metallica are grandfathers now. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I, they're showing their. They're they maybe their- want to show their skill. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe they're one to <laughs> rock and rocking chairs now. You know, like- <laughs> rock and roll takes on a new meaning in the rocking chairs, baby. <laughs> they're rocking and rocking chairs now, baby. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. Oh man, um, that's that's. I insane. mean. <laughs> like I said, I don't know the original, so I don't want to hate on it too much, dude. But I wasn't a fan of the song. Yeah, like I, I, it didn't blow me away. I didn't blow me away either, but I didn't hate it. I thought it was it had some strong points. I mean, the solo was really strong for me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna gonna just say that it it, it was I you know it was I I didn't you know uh, yeah it wasn't you know it wasn't nothing else matters <laughs> it wasn't Unforgiven Seven <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or Carlos one. didn't get that joke. Or one. Metallica made Unforgiven like three or four on. <laughs> yeah, no, I know so. that. I know that. But okay. My favorite one is one. I love that song. The song one or Unforgiven one? The song one. Oh, that's my favorite too. Yeah. That's my. Yeah. That one makes me still want to slap people around. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, man. That I mean, was entertainment, by the way, that you just mouthed. No, was it? As you gave everybody uh, COVID right now. <laughs> Only if it was smell vision you guys smell are, vision. You guys are lucky. I like it. I you like guys are it. lucky that you can't smell us right now. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways this episode. <laughs> let us know in the comments what you guys think of the song Borderline Thin Lizzy cover by Metallica. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will catch you next year. We got some big plans. Big plans. Hey, tell us how Hey, somebody send us a link of the original song. Yes. Send us a link, because we're too lazy to Google it. <laughs> I'm too lazy to look it up. I'll look it up on there if somebody sends us the link, but uh, whatever. Love you. Make Peace sure you out. guys subscribe, and I hope you guys have a safe and happy new year. We will see you in 2023. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you, guys. Peace. Peace.